tip it off. Kapai and Gaines at the top, tipping it off. And it's controlled by Northwestern by Veronica Burton. She brings it up to the front court. She's guarded heavily by Nia Cloudin. As we mentioned, player to look out for in this game. She dished off the podium at the key. Inside the shy in the paint, trying to get the going. Who? It's not going to go to the line. It's actually an offensive foul called on Scheid. A little too aggressive or there. Or a travel correction. So we're just going to flip it around. Michigan State first possession of the basketball game. Too many steps there. Michigan State takes it up in the front court. Collie dishes off to Clowning inside. Inside to Allen. Clowning takes the baseline floater, and it's good. Michigan State. State takes the lead two to nothing here in the first quarter. Gonna have to crash the boards and get those defensive rebounds. Veronica Burton did a good job of breaking it up. And uh, Michigan State's not making the night easier for Northwestern as they start out with a full court press. Northwestern able to bring it to the front court. Dishes it off to Jordan Hamilton. Inside the shot, she kicks it back out to the top of the key. Inside back to side. She dishes it to Kunea Akapana, and she gets the land to go, and Northwestern has tied this game up. Michigan State, no, no rest for the weary as Cloudon brings it up to the front court. And as we talked about in the pregame, Palace Kunae Akpana going to be the focal point, shooting 50.6% from field goal. Kali tries it with the jumper, no good, rebounded by Northwestern. And Burton pulls it, pushes it up the floor, kicks it off to Hamilton. Hamilton inside the paint, nothing there. She takes it back outside to, to the corner, inside to Kunai Akapana. She dishes it back out to Burton. Burton drives the lane. Nope. Gets them both. And Northwestern takes a 4-2 lead. 8.15 left to go in the first quarter. Northwestern's matching four-court press with four-court press. Allen in the corner for three. Bang! And that's like that. Michigan State takes the lead back. How about Jenna Allen, the 6'2 senior, splashing it. Last week's Big Ten Player of the Week hits the baseline shot. Going to have to get out and guard on all parts of the court if you're Northwestern. Hamilton inside to pull him, pull him with the jumper inside the paint. And they're trading scores and they're trading full court pressure. They no rest for the weary. You want action, you got it here in this Big Ten matchup. Good find to find Pulliam at the elbow. She pulled up and... Already starting out to find her shot. Inside the Gaines. Gaines tries to lay up. Oh, good. Northwestern in transition. Burton brings it up the floor. Dishes off to Hamilton. Hamilton off the glass. No good. Shy with the offensive board. Kicks it out to the wing to Burton. And Burton trying to set up the offense inside to Kunaye Akapana. She goes up. Try to get the hoop. No call there. Misses the layup. And they're pushing up for Kali. Drives the lane inside the middle, front irons it. Gets the offensive rebound, puts back in. And Michigan State's up seven to six. And Akana's gonna have to be a little more aggressive on the defensive board. She had a good look. Che Cooley put up the shot, got her own rebound, rebound off the face of the rim and put it right back in. Pulliam with the jumper on the corner, doesn't get it. Rebound by Michigan State. One and done possession as Cloudin brings it up the floor. Three-point basket by Taryn McCutcheon, and Michigan State goes up 10 to 6. 6.33 left to go in the first quarter. Full court pressure as Northwestern tries to bring it before Burton. Gets the pass from Shy. Gets it to the front court. Pulliam was double teamed in the corner. Had to kick it back out to the wing. Hamilton swinging around inside to Pulliam. Jumper from the foul line is good, and Northwestern makes this a two-point game. It's a good sign if Lindsey Pulliam's heating up. That's points number three and four on the evening into this young first quarter. Inside to inside of Gaines. It's a steal. Pushing up the four. Pulliam tries to drive. Easy names to talk about. Come into the game for Michigan State. Pulliam. Sydney, Sydney Cooks replaced by uh, Matarinke Cook. No good with the jumper as Michigan State pulls it up the floor. Allen for the three attempt, no good. Tie up. Mark Drinkia Cook called for the foul. She just came into the game. Her first team second. Burton pulls it up to the front court. Kicks it out to Hamilton on the wing. She drives inside. Gives it to Kunia Kapaya. She loses it. Michigan State pushing up the floor. 
Collie, Kissing McCutcheon. She takes the three, no good. Rebound Northwestern. Hamilton trying to bring it up the floor. Guarded heavily by McCutcheon, but she's able to bring it to the front court. Burton drives the lane. Gets the layup off the glass, doesn't get the go. Michigan State, defensive rebound, driving up the floor. Collie with the layup is good, and Michigan State's up 12 to eight, under five minutes to go in the first quarter. Pulliam with the layup inside the paint. Cooks and Holly. And she cannot complete the free point play. Michigan State gets the rebound, and they're trying to bring up the floor, and Hamilton is guarding McCutcheon hard as she brings it up to the front court. Holly with the ball at the top of the key. Oh, a pass by. They turn it over, and Northwestern has the ball. Michigan State's second turnover of the game, and if, they're in, if they, Northwestern is going to be successful, they're going to have to force more turnovers. We're looking towards a range of 15, as that one rims out for Pulliam. And Michigan State gets the ball, pushing up the floor, kicks it up to Collie. Collie for three, no good. There you go, we talk about one and done possessions. Rebound by Kunia Akapana. Uh, painted area on her side of the court. Just kind of fumbled her feet a little bit. Turnover number two, three for Northwestern. Cook inside pass, tipped by Burton, and Shy gets the, gets the possession. Turns it back to Northwestern. Michigan State goes back into a zone, allows Northwestern to come up to the front court with the relative ease. Shy at the top of the key, looking for somebody. Kicks it out to Veronica Burton. Burton tries to drive the lane, pulls it back inside to Cooney Akapana. She misses it, Michigan State with the ball. Oh, good pass to Collie inside the lane. She gets the layup to go, and Michigan State's up 14 to 10, 341 left to go in the first quarter. That all started with Burton. Burton's only played in eight games this season. She has 22 steals, started the twist around, but Kunaya Pana could not finish. And she tried to finish there. And she can next next series, we'll see what happens here. And she gets the second one to go, Northwestern. 11, Michigan State 14, 3.30 left to go in the first quarter. Northwestern full court press. Not Michigan, Michigan State trying to get something set up. Clowden with the ball, she kicks it inside the Cooks. Another steal by Northwestern, they got the turnover game, that's what I mentioned during the break, they need to get some stops and they get one. Aggressive play between over and it goes back to the Spartans. Yeah, foul's actually gonna be away from the ball. Veronica Burton coming in to assist got called for the personal. And Aggressive play thus far. Michigan State brings the ball to the front court. Cook has it on the wing. Inside to the corner, McCutcheon. Three point basket, you gotta put a body on her. And they didn't do that and she got that good look at the three and Michigan State goes up. 17-11, 2.51 left to go in the first quarter. And Welcome back to the WNUR Game of the Week. Northwestern inbounds the ball. Shied on the corner, guarded heavily by Holly. On, Abby. Inside to Abby Wolf. She's unable to get a go. Michigan State gets the rebound. Nia Cloudin brings it inside the lane. Oh, what a block by Hamilton. One and done as Northwestern pushes it up the floor. Hamilton guarded heavily. She has to kick it back out. Shy in the corner. She gets the jumper, not the go. And then free throw shooter, so we'll see how she does at the line. Yeah! And she gets them both to go. And Northwestern is down 17 to 13. 2-11 left to go in the first quarter. Northwestern full court press. Kali gets the ball at half court. She kicks it out to the corner. Pulling the team in to within four, but 2.02 to go here in the first quarter. And you know, Abby's father represented the U.S. team in the 1984 track and field Olympics. Great pass, swinging it back around. Hamilton trying to set up the offense. She drives the lane, kicks it out to Shide in the corner for three, gets it to go. And Northwestern makes this a one point game. With 140 left to go in the fourth, that gets the crowd shouting a little bit over there on the northwestern side of things. And Michigan State swings it out. Kylie drives the lane, shoots the layup. No good. Rebounded by Wolf. Burton pushes up the floor. One on one. Oh! Darn near six feet on that one. That was and a she six foot the ball ten away. block right there. Wolf 
gets the inbound pass, kicks out the shot on the wing, inside the Burton, outside the Burton. Burton kicks it out to Hamilton, back to Burton on the wing. Like Off this the shot in the corner. Really like this lineup, really tall lineup for Northwestern. Yeah, they got the tall lineup, gets the rebounds, and gets shots like that as Wolf gets the shot to go, and Northwestern takes the lead on number 15, Michigan, 18 to 17, under the minute to go left in the first quarter. Sydney Wood on the floor, Veronica Burton, Wolf, Hamilton, and Abby Scheid as they're stretching this Michigan State team out. The twin towers of Scheid and Wolf are making a difference for Northwestern, and that's right there, a turnover caused by Burton's defense. Sydney Wood, Wood gets it. Burton brings it up to the front court over to Hamilton. Hamilton kicks out shot on the wing. Burton for three. Oh, the iron unkind. Rebounded by Michigan State. Collie brings it up the floor. McCutcheon gets it on the wing. She thinks about it. Jobs it back out to half court. Trying to set up the offense. Kicks it out to Cloudin. The team, one of the team's leading scorers. She's looking at the clock. 12 seconds left. Looking for the last shot of the quarter. She drives the lane. Oh, and there's a lot of contact there. Stayed early. Definitely indeed. Northwestern trying to get the last shot. Burton gets it half court. Three, two, one. Shide tries to put it, puts up the three. Almost. Zane Clowden for Northwestern. It's going to be Wood, Pulliam, Burton, Wolf, and Shide. Nia Clowden takes it up off the inbound, gives it to Colley, flips it around to McCutcheon on the right side, back to the center of the court to Clowden. Clowden to Colley down low, and that's knocked away. How about Abby Wolf with a stout defensive play, but Northwestern turns it right back over. No rest for the weary. The Twin Towers made the stop, but. Pick up the ball. It's going to be Abby Scheid inbounding and coming up to pressure. McLeod is McCutcheon as Veronica Burton is bringing it up court, brings it to the right side. Got Abby Wolf at the top of the key. She snags it down, kicks it to the right to Scheid and over to Pulliam. Pulliam with six points leads Northwestern. She's going to rock it over to the right side, finds Burton. Burton drives to the lane, right handed floater and splash. Fills it up. Northwestern goes up by three. Great take to the rim by Burton. They need a lot more of that tonight from her to step up, along with the other players, also the 10 Towers, to, to keep up with this game. Lindsey Pulliam looks for McCutcheon down in the right corner. And it's pushed down low. And how about them? Just Victoria gains and wins. Jump ball, Northwestern. Gotta love the whole possession arrow thing. It doesn't tip off, so you want to get those to get quick turnovers right there. And she played aggressive, and Burton. that's what Northwestern needs to do. Burton drives it up court. She's defended as she kicks it small underneath. Let's see what they do right here as Burton inballs the ball. 8.44 to go here in the second quarter. Northwestern 20. That one's intercepted by Colley. Colley just going to ride it all the way up the court. A little finger roll and fills it up. Great hit there. MSU uh, cuts the lead to one. Great heads up play by Collie to be there in position to get that steal to make that easy way, drive to the layup. No Palace Kunayak Pana as Abby Wolf is getting majority of the minutes. That one, errant pass by Scheid, intercepted by Cloudin. Cloudin's as Nia Cloudin shirts Cloudin only with two points. Make that three as she drains and splits the pair of free throws. I think that they were looking at the uh, tape on Cloud in that Iowa game, and they're definitely trying to shut her down tonight. Doing a good job of it so far. Scored 20 to 20 as Northwestern goes from left to right across your radio dial. Inside pass to Kunayak Pana, who checks in to the game, gets the first touch, and she starts off with a chance to add to their two-point lead with 7.50 to go. Definitely, they need to add that great defense by Northwestern to cause that turnover by Collie. She looked like she had a great drive to the basket, but uh, unable to handle the rock, and it goes to Northwestern. Lindsey Pulliam back in the game. She pulls up from the three line on the right side, and that one rims out. Bringing it back up the court is Cloudin. Cloudin looking down low as she stands at the left elbow, pushes it over to the right to McCutcheon, guarded by Hamilton. McCutcheon goes down low to the elbow from the short. Corner on the right side is Cooley as she splashes home point number nine and ten. As she made she makes up for the last series, dropping the ball in that one series, come back and getting that shot for Michigan State and tying the game up. Hamilton's got wood crossing across the key. 
Sydney one at the line. And they need to make those free throws if they have a chance at this game tonight. 23-22, 6 52 to go here in the second corner. Michigan State has it as they drive, and that one's intercepted by Northwestern as Brianna Hopkins got in between, and Northwestern's gonna set it up at the top as Hamilton, guarded by Cloudin, gonna slice it down underneath the Cluniac. Pana puts up a shot, gets her own rebound, puts up a second shot, that one off, and finally, Garnered by Michigan State as Cooley brings it all the way back up court. Looks to the right corner for three is Cloud, and that's off iron. Rebounded by Kunayak Pana, and Northwestern's gonna reset up. Yeah, three rebounds in that series for Kunai Akapana. Great play by her, but she needs to get the ball in the bucket. Akapana really now team. turns it over as Clowden brings it all the way up court. We're going end to end now. Clowden misses her shot off the back of the backboard, and that one's pulled down by Sydney Wood. Hamilton now controls at the top of uh, the three-point line for Northwestern. Going to hand it off, moving from uh, right to left to Pulliam. Pulliam uh, pushes it to uh, Sydney Wood. Correction, that's Hopkins. Hopkins over to Hamilton. And Hamilton with a one-point lead here at Welsh Ryan Arena. 5.43 to go here in the second quarter. Michigan State brings the ball up. It's Cloudin, pushes it to the left side of Cooley. Cooley to the corner to McCutcheon. McCutcheon tries to come. As the referee talked to Victoria Gaines about what's going on, they got it sorted out. We're back to action. Not as big of a lineup on the floor for Northwestern on defense as Pulliam, Burton, Kunayak, Pana, Hamilton, and Scheid face up Michigan State. That's Hendrickson who pushes it over to Cooley on the right side. Cooley going to take the three herself. Wide open and bang. Knocks it down. Great look for Cooley. 45. Percent for the three point strike gets another one to go right there. Gonna have to find an answer for Kali. She has 13 points on the evening with that three. Kuniak Pana brings it up in the offensive zone and passes over to Hamilton on the far side to Shide in the short corner for three. Correction, not the short corner. Three point shot from the left side, knocks it down, and just like that, Northwestern takes the lead back. Great job by Burton to get the double team to allow Shy to get that open look for three. Cooley looks down low. Team in the country, 26 to 25, with 4.40 to go here in the second quarter. I'm Chris Cadeau alongside my broadcast partner, Eric Frazier. And Michigan State controls in their own zone. It's Taryn McCutcheon. Moving from right to left behind the three-point line, looking for somebody to pass to. She's going to drive on the left side, finds Kali back on the right for three, and she nails it. Clutch shooting right there by, by Cooks right there, it, by Kali, and that puts Michigan State back into the lead. Shea Kali having a great evening with that three. That's, she has 16 points and turns it over right away. The shooting. Filing Kali in rhythm. She's splashing from all over. Got a chance to watch her in pregame warm up, and she wasn't missing them there either. So yeah. McCutcheon controls at the top of the key, finds it. The Kali, who has 16 points, looks down low to Allen. Going to go to Holly with a little scoop underneath from the left side of the hoop to the right. Off the backboard and in. Michigan State goes up four with 3.41 to go here in the second quarter. Great offensive play by Holly. Pulliam now from the short elbow as she's about halfway up into the key in the paint, makes that one on the right side. All the way back down the court quickly, and it goes to Holly. Holly having her way underneath as Kunayak Pana slid over to the right side to cover up Allen, left Holly wide open. And yeah. Holly, yeah, and Holly's had great, two great plays on two great series for Michigan State to get them in the lead. Nia Holly with four points as Abby Scheid drains a three. Brings Northwestern back to within one with 258. 32 to 31, Michigan State with the lead. McCutcheon brings it down, finds Colley on the left side. Colley moves to the right, goes back to the left, and McCutcheon touch packs so far and has made it a one point game with that shooting in the first. Inbounded by Hendrickson. McCutcheon going to send it up top. She's guarded by Burton. 
Slides it over to Colley as Hamilton in a good defensive position forces a quick pass to Gaines. Gaines kicks it to McCutcheon. McCutcheon starts to drive the lane, gets a little body contact and throws. Jumped up and absorbed the content to get that foul call. She hails for Meets Lansing, 88% free throw. She has the team lead. Michigan State took the lead back with great offensive plays and now Northwestern, let's see what they do with it. We'll see indeed. As Veronica Burton comes up, McCutcheon with scouring D, almost gets a hand on it as the pass goes inside and comes back out to Abby Scheid. San Clitano checks in the game. She's gonna drive to the rim on her first shot. That one's gonna rim out, but she gets her own rebound as Kuniak Pana taps it to her, comes out to Pulliam, who hands it off to Burton. Burton sets off the offense from the top. Kuniak Pana sets a screen as she moves. Burton moves to her right. Comes back to her left, finds Scheid. Scheid now looks down low to Kunayak Pana. Does a little pivot, but again comes out to the top to Scheid. Over to the right corner, San Clitaldo misses his shot. As she's a quick into the game, two quick shots, two quick misses, and Michigan State brings it up furiously. McCutcheon now looks to the left side to Cooley. Cooley's telling Cloudin to bring it back over to the top and set up the O as she does. Finds McCutcheon on the far side. McCutcheon looks for Gaines, gonna take it to herself, slices through the key, kicks it all the way back out to Victoria Gaines on the left side. Someone needs to put a body on McCutcheon. She was wide open in the corner. She told Michigan State, totally missed that, but got the points anyways. That's Cooley comes to the rack. She has 18 points as she splashes it in. Veronica Burton pushes it to the corner to San Clitano. Looks like Northwestern gonna keep with this tall lineup as Clitano looks to the key for Kunayak Pana who passes out to Shine and finds Polium. Gonna set it back up at the top of the three-point strike for Burton. Burton now putting the move, got Cooks. 49 seconds to go here in the Pana with five points. Make that six. Fifth in the Big Ten in steals with 25 as the second shot rims out. And six in the Big Ten with blocks with 22. So Akpana causing havoc in the key this year. And as we said in the top of the game, is this game is really going to fall on the shoulders of her. Who's going to win the battle between her and Jenna Allen on MSU? Allen has been a non-factor, but the woman with the ball right now has it done work. That's Shea Cooley who has 18 as Michigan State flips it around, turns it over, Lee pass to Pulliam. Pulliam with a head fake, goes up and off the glass and in. Great take by Northwest right there to get the stop on the defensive end and great heads up play to look up the floor to get the easy bucket. Great transition, five seconds to go here in the second quarter. The shot off the glass and in. Number zero and number two is Mandraka Cook. We'll make sure that that is correct all the way out. And as we ha start the second half, Eric Frazier to take you through the third quarter. Take it away, Eric. And Pulliam takes the ball in the front court for Northwestern. They weren't really happy with that end, and we'll start. If you will, hockey terminology: 18 points, eight of 12 shooting, two of three from behind the arc. Gonna have to find a way to stop her if Northwestern's gonna come away with a W. Inside the Cooley Acapana, she didn't get the shot to go. Michigan State in transition as Cooley brings it up to the front court. At the key, guarded heavily by Hamilton. McCutcheon takes the ball at half court. She kicks it out to Nia Cloud, and she hasn't really done much in this game. Hopefully it changes in the second half. Over 918 left to go in the third quarter. Had to been a point of discussion for head coach Susie Merchant from Michigan State Spartans. Turnovers 13 now in the game already. Yep, and Cunha Apaya takes the ball at the wing, looking for some way to dish it to. Gives it to Hamilton. Hamilton takes it to the key. Shy. She's behind the arc, gets a good look, but drives it in the lane, gets off the side of the glass. No good. Cunha Akapaya with the rebound. She can't get the go. And Cloudin drives the lane. Allen with the shot. She gets it to go. And Michigan State's up 40 to 34. 843 left to go in the third quarter. Allen a big presence down low for the senior out of Bedford, Indiana. Burton with the ball, gets it out the shot. She's looking for the disc. Pulliam comes around the corner, drives the lane just to Akapani. She puts up the layup. Cooney Akapani gets the feet is. And Holly comes in for Michigan State. She gets the second one to go. Four point game and full court press for the Wildcats. He points on the night for Kunai. 
Cowley with the three-pointer. Cooley with the three-pointer gets it to go. And Michigan State's up 43-36, 8-13 left to go in the third quarter. Oh, where's the defense? Great take by Burton. Michigan State caught out of position right there, and that was an easy take for Burton. Need to go back to Cooley as she is having her way with the Wildcat defense. 21 points, three of four from behind the arc. Oh, great tie up underneath Allen. <laughs> Traveling, that was the call. Too many steps. You only allow two, you can't take three. Northwestern brings the ball to the front court. Burden dishes it off to Pulliam. Pulliam to Hamilton. Cooney Akapaya takes a shot from the key. Gets it to go. And Northwestern has cut it to a three-point game as the bench gets up and shouts out their approval right there. Slides out to the top of the circle and nails that shot. Kunai Akpana getting hot. Ten points. Cooley with the shot. Doesn't get the go. That's another team foul for Michigan State. As Burton brings it up to the front court. Trying to set up the offense. Michigan State does not go full court. Allows Northwestern to get set up in the front court. Inside the Cooney Akapaya. Off balance shot gets it to go. She's looking for the foul. No call there. So two points instead of three right there. McCutcheon brings it up to the front court. Guarded heavily. Kicks it out to kicks out to Cook. Inside of McCutcheon. McCutcheon kicks it out to Holly. Holly back to McCutcheon. McCutcheon drives the lane. Good look inside to Allen, and Allen gets a shot to go. And Michigan State's up 45, 42, 637 left in the third quarter. Northwestern, Burton brings the ball up in the front court for Northwestern. She drives the lane, kicks out to the corner. Hamilton for three, no good. Holly with the off, Coley with the offensive rebound, pushing up the floor herself. Bounces off to Hamilton, gets the ball back in, in transition. Pops for the three, doesn't get the go. Michigan State with the rebound. Hutchinson gets the ball on the wing. She's going to take it back, back, back out to half court to set up the offense. McCutcheon in the right position, taking the hustle play from Holly as the ball was going out of bounds. Cook inside, doesn't get the fifth. Cook. Trying to find the first point of the game, and she does there. Gets the second one to go. Michigan State's up 46 42, 5.55 left to go in the third quarter. Northwestern brings it up to the front court with Burton. Kicks it out to Pulliam. Pulliam gets the pick by Shai. Off balance shot, no good. Her second team's 12. On the floor correction is inbound pass to Shai. Hamilton with the ball at the top of the key. Burton gets it at the wing. Cooney Akapaya sets the pick. She goes the other way from it. Pulliam for the three from the wing. Doesn't get it to go. Doesn't follow the shot. Defensive rebound by Allen from Michigan State. And McCutcheon brings it up the floor for the Spartans. For three in the corner. No good by Cooks. And Pulliam with the rebound for Northwestern. One and done for the Spartans. He Pulliam the heat up. Ten points on the evening. Missed that shot. If Northwestern's going to win, she needs to be the focal point. Burton with the shot of the key. There's a pick by Kune Akapaya. Try to get some room. Pull him on the wing. Drives the baseline. Loses the handles. One to go in the third. 46 to 42. Michigan State with the lead. Northwestern the inbound. Looking for somebody. Shy gets the inbound pass. Kicks it out. Kicks it out to Hamilton. It's five on the shot clock. Tried to get it inside to pull him. Stolen away by Michigan State. Turns the ball over and gets it back to the Wildcats. As Burton tries to bring it back up the floor, she does. Kicks out to Hamilton in the front court. Shied on the wing. Do it there. Kunai Akapana bounce passes to Hamilton in the paint. She turns around for the jumper. Gets it off the glass to go. And Northwestern has cut this to a two-point game. 46-44, 44-28 left to go in the third quarter. Michigan State in the lead. Hamilton found her shot there. Michigan State gives it to... Cook on the wing. Try to get it in. Yeah, Michigan State with the lead. Playing their aggressive, so Northwestern is trying to hang tough with them as Michigan State inbounds the ball. Almost a turnover there. Allen able to get it back. Kicks it out to Cooley. And she gets. 
Burton takes the inbound pass, no pressure. Michigan State was showing full court press during the first half. Decided to back away from it in the second half as Northwestern makes it to the front court. Inside of Kuni Akpana. Oh, she's trying to go for the layup. Allen with the block. Allen with another block. Sense of position by Allen underneath the, underneath the hoop. She was able to get a hand on the first ball that went up and just stayed with it. Caused another turnover. You got to put your hands up. You put your hands up, you make plays. Michigan State with the ball inside. Allen tried to get rewarded for it. Akpana tried to we'll take the handle of it. Look for the open player. Everybody looks covered. Five seconds to get the ball in. She gets it in inside to Cooley. Cooley to Gank to Cooks. Unable to get the shot going. Akpana with the aggressive defensive rebound. And that's what Northwestern needs to get back into this game. 46-44, 324 left to go in the third quarter. Burton with the ball at the wing, trying to set up the offense. Hamilton called for in the corner. She drives the middle of the court. Kicks it from the paint. Great take by Pulliam to clean up the garbage and get the shot there to go. And Northwestern has tied this game with three minutes. Oh, what a block. Half with a big three just to show. State's up 47-46. Doesn't get the second one to go. Shied with the rebound. Kicks it out to Hamilton. She brings it up of the floor to set up their offense. And Cooley's just getting going. She walked 15 minutes against Iowa in Michigan State's last game after returning from missing seven games. Inside to Cooney Akpana. She doesn't get the shot to go. It's been aggressive, Master. And on the other side, Allen, she had 27 points and a win over Nor number two Oregon earlier in the season. A big upset for Michigan State. And was Big Ten Player of the Week last week. So she's been a, a little, little cold with seven points. And Allen gets a shot to go. Right on as, cue. As Wolf checks in for Akpana. And that's the new matchup here is Allen and Wolf. Wolf will try to take her chances with with Allen going forward in the in the third quarter. And Hamilton I gets the ball going inside, trying to get something to go. Wolf drives the baseline, turns around, gets the shot to go. And Northwestern's down one. Michigan State, no rest for the weary. Quickly brings it up to the front court. Inside to Allen. Wolf got her hands up. Allen takes the presence of Abby Wolf underneath is causing problems for Michigan State. She has not been a focal point for the Northwestern offense thus far. Tonight, six points. I think right now that's the great matchup right there because they saw Allen was getting the best of Akpana. So they bring in the bigger, can, bigger, bigger player, and she's able to get it done. She trips and falls. No call there. Northwestern gets the ball back. Keep it going. But how about the hustle? Abby at 6-4 from one knee keeps the ball alive for Northwestern. Great play by Abby Wolf to get there. Burt Pulliam with the shot. Gets it to go. And Northwestern's taking the lead. Approaching the 120 mark left. There's some kind. Can't get that speed and height for height. Gets the second one the game go, and we got a tied game to go. 118 left to go in this third quarter, 50-50. Burton brings it up to the front court, guarded by McCutcheon very difficultly. Kicks it out the wood. Shy gets the ball to the top of the key. Swings it back to Burton. Burton's trying to drive the lane, get some points though. Gets it to Pulliam in the wing. Drives it inside the Wolf, that matchup we was talking about. Try to get the floater to go. Gets the first. Three minutes in the game. Wood gets them both to go, and Northwestern's up 50 52. 48 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Guarded heavily. Wood guarding McCutcheon heavily at the top of the key. Inside to Cook. Cook doesn't get the go. Wolf with the play right there and gets, re gets Northwestern the rebound. As Burton tries to bring it up to the front court, looking at the clock, trying to analyze how much time she got. About a five second difference between game clock and shot clock. 15 on the shot clock. Kicks it out to Jamison. She tries to drive the baseline. An errant pass gets stolen by, Cooley. by Cooley. She brings it up to the front court, gives it to McCutcheon. She's going to take it out to the top of the key. Shot clock turned off, six seconds left. Michigan State looking for the last shot. She drives it to the lane, kicks it back out. Tip up at the buzzer. Iron it. 
We welcome you back into Welsh Ryan Arena. Ten minutes on the clock. Fourth quarter underway as Michigan State inbounds the ball with a one-point lead. It's 53-52. Offense set up on the left side. Far sideline is McCutcheon. She's going to take the three herself. That rims out. Tries to come down with the board. Story of the game thus far is Cooley. 26 points. Shea Cooley is a in her second game back from a knee injury and absolutely lighting it up 21 points was the high if you could be any more competitive 11 and 1 on the season inbound by burton goes to the top of the circle the shine pushes over to the left side to wood back to Burton. Burton with a crossover. She's a deed up by Cloudin. Cloudin with a hand has Pulliam crossing underneath and Michigan State leads by one. 53 points on the evening. Inbound Burton finds Shine. Shine's gonna be standing on the line. It's called a two from the left side. Northwestern takes the one point lead. Definitely great offensive play by Northwestern to get the ball around, causing turnovers on the Defensive side and making plays on the offensive side right there for Northwestern. Cloudin with three points. Quietly Cook with a turnover as Cloudin got to her. Burton with another steal. Burton going to take it herself. Deed up by Holly. Back to Burton. Slices it around. Gives it to Cindy Wood moving to the right. Kicks it off to Shy. Shy back over to the left side to Wolf. Wolf surveys the court. Going to go underneath to Shy. Two defendings. Replaces Madraka Cook. Inbound quick to Pulliam. Pulliam air balls from the short corner on the right side. And Michigan State brings it up quickly. Cooley to Allen at the top of the key. Underneath it to Gaines. Gaines slides it all the way back around. Now it's Cooley. Cooley has it. Cooley off the high glass and in as she slices through the paint. 28 points on the evening. Great, great ball movement by Michigan State to set up that shot, and Cooley blowing it up. Two points away from 30, also leads the team in rebounds tonight at six. Eight minutes and counting on the clock is the internal pass to Wood. She's off the mark. Sorry, Wolf. Wolf is, has six points on the evening. That inside pass was perfect. She couldn't lay it up and in. Probably the first mistake by Wolf. All evening is Wolf logging a big minutes, 10 tonight. Michigan State trying to crack it. You can tell that Joe McEwing's going big against this Michigan State team. Cooley now at the top, little crossover, four on the shot clock, air ball off the glass, and rebounded by Northwestern. A great scrappy play by Lindsey Pulliam to get that turnover and much needed play to keep Northwestern in this game, down by one in the fourth quarter. 55-54 Michigan State, 7-13 on the clock. Wood into Pulliam, Pulliam from the elbow, pulls the J. And she's the leading scorer for Northwestern with 14. Back down the court is Nia Cloudin. Gets it over to Holly. Holly wraps it around from left to right. Tipped in by the Northwestern D, but into the hands of Cloudin. Over to Cooley. Cooley with an up and under. And that one just falls safely off the glass into the hands of Victoria Burton. Victoria Burton brings it down. Abby Scheid sets a screen. Comes over, she's, Burton is deed up by Allen, kicks it over, and that shot off the glass by Wood misses. Iron unkind for Northwestern, there's a lot of subs going in. Northwestern has a one point lead. Kuneak, Pana, and Hamilton await to come in the game for Northwestern. Cooks and McCutcheon trying to come in for Michigan State. Gains from the left elbow. That Gains a 47% free. See how it goes with Akpana checking back in the game in that matchup again. She's pretty much going to be probably match up with Allen. We'll see what happens here going forward. Knocks down the second one, so splits it. It's a tie game at 56. Six minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Northwestern with possession. Burton stands on the tip of that purple end at center court. Going to drive a little spin move on McCutcheon. Tries to take to the left side. Nothing going. Goes to the corner. Sydney Wood did stay in the game. On the floor for Northwestern. Pulliam, Burton, Kuniakana, Hamilton. Looking for Hamilton. Bounces out of bounds. 
Turnover margin 18 for Michigan State of 12 now for Northwestern. As Cloudin looks to Cooley, Cooley goes on to Allen. Allen, the pass underneath the Cook, and Cook puts it in. Not a big enough body on Cook. Yeah, Michigan State decided to go with their bigs right there, and great take by Cooks to get that shot, and Michigan State's back up in this game. Starting to buzz here in Welsh Rhino Arena with Northwestern trailing by two. The number 15 team in the country has only dropped one this season. As a, the Northwestern offense flips it all the way around, Hamilton at the top of the circle. She's going to take a three splash. And that woke up the Northwestern crowd and bench as Northwestern takes the lead. Jordan Hamilton with points number, has five points on the game, and that's intercepted as Michigan State brings it down. Turnover, guess who? Veronica Burton with the steal. Burton brings it down the court, settles it down. Hamilton, shy to Hamilton, who rolled underneath. Back up top, 440 to go here in the fourth quarter. 438 and counting. Appreciate the tweets coming in. It's Kali. And apologies again. That's Shay Kali with 28 points. Score 59 to 58 and Northwestern with the lead 427 to go in the fourth quarter. McCutcheon has it, kicks it over to Clowden. Clowden to McCutcheon back over to uh, Collie. Collie rims out and Northwestern has the basketball. Northwestern brings it up court, looks to the right corner. Pulliam, bounce pass, go one to go, 59 to 58. Michigan State brings the ball up court, is counting. Cloudin looks to the left to McCutcheon, kicks it over to Cloudin again, and big block by Abby Scheid is Cloudin. Like, like I mentioned during the break, those turnovers are their key right now. Northwestern is up 59-58. They just got to continue to control the game tempo, the clock, and create turnovers for themselves. Pulliam over to Scheid. Scheid to the right corner. That's Veronica Burton has it. Burton looks for Hamilton. Hamilton down low to Kunai Akpana. Akpana, and that one rims out. Akpana to the floor, but five of seven. Make that five of eight from the free throw line. Northwestern leads by two with three minutes and 10 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Kali back over to Cloudin. Cloudin kicks it to the right side to McCutcheon. McCutcheon to Collie, Collie down low, and it's Cooks has it rim out, and Northwestern with the rebound. One and done possession right there, the same as a turnover. Great job by Northwestern to get that stop. Welsh Ryan crowd ooze as now showing on the scoreboard. Northwestern's up too. Collie doing absolute work tonight with 28 points. Inbounded uh, by Pulliam as Veronica Burton guarded by McCutcheon, has those arms out wide, hand checking all the way through. Inside to Scheid, Scheid wrapping around, hands it to Pulliam on the handle. Pulliam from the left elbow, bang! That's what they needed right there. Get that shot. Pulliam with the shot, and Northwestern's up four. 2.22 to go, 62 to 58, Northwestern with the lead. Cloudin over to Kali, Kali down low to Cooks, Cooks. 62 to 61 after that made free throw. Northwestern looking to pull off the upset. Two minutes to go here from Welsh Ryan Arena. Burton brings it down, floater lob pass to the right corner to Pulliam. Pulliam retrieves it, pushes it back out to Burton. Burton guarded by Hutchinson. Over to Scheid, who's guarded by Cook. Scheid wraps it on the right, hands it off to Pulliam. Pulliam kicks it to the left. 
side to Hamilton, who moves back to the top of the circle. Guarded by Cloudin, looks for a pass. Kuniak Panas there to the corner. Abby Shine to get in to get a good shot. They weren't able to do it, and Michigan State gets the much needed turnover as the Northwestern and Michigan State crowd feels it and gets in this game. 134 to go. Northwestern leads by one. They put up 62 points. Cloudin has it at the top of the circle, kicks it to the left side to Colley. Colley back to McCutcheon, back to Cloudin to McCutcheon. They play catch. Backing up is Cloudin. She's going to set it up, holds up two fingers, looks like the number two. Goes to Colley. Colley rims out from the right side, about 10 feet out from that shot. Call it 12. One minute and counting on the clock. Northwestern with the lead and the basketball. Burton puts on a little dribbling show as she crosses over Hutchinson and goes to the corner to Akpana. Back to Pulliam up to the right side. Pulliam looking for Akpana. Akpana with the good pivot off the high glass. Makes it a four point game. She splashes it. Clouden takes the inbound from Clowney. She wraps around the the top of the circle is correction. That's on a polium. That's her first foul. So we'll try it again. Collie inbounds again to Cloudin. Cloudin tries to take it around. And 38 seconds ago. Northwestern 65. Michigan State 61. Inbound. Allen from deep three. That one rims out. Abby Shine with the rebound. But Buneyak, Pana, Hamilton, and Shine for MSU as the ball's inbound. And Kuniak Pana is fouled. She's going to go to the line. As Hanna, first shot. That one to If you're Michigan State, second shot goes. 18 points. Kuneyak Hanna has brought down 10 boards. It's another double double for Kuneyak Hanna. And Michigan State inbounds. Cloudin looks for Kali. Kali pushes it over to Allen. Allen for three. That one's off air ball, but down low is Cook. Make that five on the shot. And that one rims out, rebounded by Hamilton. Holly has four points on the game. Second free throw, good. Three and Allen has nine. Holly going to inbound it to Cloudin. 18 seconds and counting. Cloudin looks for Colley. Colley wraps a long three. That's a big air ball collected by Shai. She's fouled over. Knocks down the like eight point game. And she does. The only one who's really one for six. But a complete team effort by Northwestern. Holly inbound, bounds the ball to McCutcheon. Nine seconds on the clock. Allen has it back to McCutcheon. A deep three. That one rims out. Rebounded by Northwestern. Two seconds on the clock. One second on the clock. And the North.